is a UFC featherweight division fight. of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throw that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. You're the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. To get us started Ladies with the official introduction, we go inside of the veteran the voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buck. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 142 pounds. Fighting out of London, Ontario, Canada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to the striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big body. Nice kick. punch there by Lee. Got clipped with the right hand. Boy, tie plump. And they separate. Beautiful counter punch. Really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. 
both guys really thrown with authority. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Sneaky head kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught. That one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, no. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, straight right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Both fighters throwing heat now. He is all about that left kick to the body. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, nice jab. Good punch. Slips the shot. Very tricky to throw that body kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he caught the kick. Lee's a strike attempt there is blocked. Powerful leg kick land. Back and forth we go! Oh, he got everything behind that kick. the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Body kick is blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Punch lands. Now he gets back to range. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, another strike lands to the liver here. He buckled him with that exact shot earlier in the fight, and he feels like he can still target that area to great effect. Way to hide that leg kick. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it, right. and your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson So Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tip. Round two straight ahead. Oh, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Beautiful right hook counter. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Now a combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. This dude is good. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Let's make a and let's get going now. Oh, my God. Oh, Paris, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Big knee there. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. There you go. Oh, buckled him there, beautiful shot to the body. And he caught the kick, we'll see what he can do with it. And he landed the right hand there. Trying to kick the leg out. Can't take many of those, you better check. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Try to establish that jab. Slips the left hand. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Ooh, what a punch. Beautiful sequence of strikes there. Nice combination. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get it to land exactly where you want it to. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice hit. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Punch land. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Nice kick landed there by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice. Nice. Nicely done to the body. <laughs> Round three next. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. 
Listen, I need you to stay a little bit more active, a little bit more movement. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. And he continues to work the body here. Body kick lands right under the elbow. <laughs> Slips. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Well, he misses with the left punch there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed into a knee to the body. Oh! Oh! oh one of the best head kicks you'll ever see! You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Kick. Huge damage from that elbow. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. Oh, and he caught the kick. <laughs> Missed with that attempt. to the head on the counter for him. And again, he's the longer fighter. It's gonna be easier for him to counter than his opponent. Back to the jab. At the of the the score. How's his opponent still standing? This fight is supposed to... Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Side control now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Pretty simple. You need to get out of there. Let's do something. Side. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Back to his feet. Tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Watch knees to the body. What a punch. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Nice knee to the midsection there. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up over there. 
Waning seconds here of round number three. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 53 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.